Welcome back to What Arty Nibs with General Disturbance. This is a Stridsvarn S1. It's the Tier 8 Premium Swedish Tank Destroyer, and we're located on the Westbourne of Sand River. And I do believe this is an encounter battle. Now, the name of the player is Sly Meerkat of Milo. And it looks like he's getting a bit of assistance up that slope. Somebody's impeding him, actually. I'm pretty sure that was intentional. Um, not very nice, but uh, yes, Gabby Alex, whoever he is, you're a naughty boy. Anyway, Sly's taking the SDRB S1 up into the northeast corner of the map, and this is the first target of 249. The part S1 is actually one of the prototypes that was developed for the 103 Zero, which was uh, supposed to be the first um, production version of the Swedish Wedge. And here we've got Gabby Alex again being a complete dickhead. Don't interfere with your own tank destroyers, you fool. Okay. <laughs> oh, lovely round there. Wizzy 111 one four, and he gets that 373 hit points off that tier 9 heavy. And another 393. In fact, actually, he also picked up 268 of damage assistance because he tracked the 111 and somebody else put a round into him while he was tracked. Exploiting those corners. The advantages of the uh, S1, of course, is its siege mode. It's the first tank, actually, to have a siege mode where it could lower the front end and go into a, uh, a mode of operation which allowed, greatly allowed it to deflect shells fired from the uh, tank and increase the accuracy because then the aiming was all done by the suspension. Got a check for 30. Oh, what? 345 hit points in. That takes him over a thousand hit points of damage, but he did take a 367 hit point return from that object for 30, who obviously didn't like being struck. And one of the other features of the uh, wedge is its ability to drive backwards almost as fast as it can drive forwards. As you can see there, he's rapidly escaped from that position, rather than stick around, and he's actually got a damaged gun at the moment, so he's going to have to repair that, fix it, otherwise it might affect accuracy. And he narrowly misses that uh, bird man, uh, Phantasmagory, and I think he's going to take up a position a little further back, so he can shoot at that T95 and Lerva in the distance. Yep. Looks like it to me. He's going to go up this rise, go into sea throw, so he's got the minimal aspect, frontal aspect showing, and then he can put shots into those enemies. There's nobody up there at the crossing yet. The T49 has to come through, but I think he's going to try and get that Lerba. Oh, Lerba goes down, taken out by the 430 before he can get a shot in, but I'm sure he can get a shot to that Pantera. Dials in, and wham! And he's taken out immediately afterwards as well, so we've got some damage on spotting there. 406 hit points from the actual shots, 496 hit points from spotting the P44. So that he's certainly racking up a lot of damage and damage assist here. Um, using the siege mode to pull up, there's the object 430 did damage to him before. 463 hit points! That was a lovely shot, and that 430 is no more! I bet he was regretting uh, uh, doing, uh, coming into view of your gun. And he never gets another hit in on the Wizzy 111 341. That's three shots he's put into that Wizzy 111. Ah, uh, but here's a different target. It's the T95. Now, this one you have to aim between the... Uh, underneath the main gun uh, into the lower plate. Probably about the only weak point on this vehicle. And this is difficult because the T95 does have a very, very big gun to fire back. So long as he can keep that gun facing him. Oh, T49 is wiped out with one shot. 253. Wasn't a one shot kill, but I mean, he got him just one shot into him to get him off. So he's now racked up two and a half thousand hit points of damage. Now, I think that T95 is actually quite close, but he's turned around. He's presenting his weak point. Now he'll get to get a shot into the fuel tanks of this T95. He's done a very, very silly thing to turn his back to a shit spot. And now he's trapped. 
uh, which means he'll either have to use his repair kit or he's going to suffer more and more shots into him. 448 on that one, along with the 253 from the first shot. Was it? No, sir. He tracked him with the first shot. Fired another one in, and that finishes him off. Gets the kill. It was a blind shot kill as well, so we don't actually see how much damage he did, but he's over 3,000 hit points of damage so far. Uh, 939 of assist, and there's a Maltian over here. So I think he's going to try and collect that, but he's down in the riverbed, so it's going to be difficult. He's going to have to go down to the other end of the riverbed, try and shoot along it. Ah, Oho, it's been spotted. Yeah, is he going to go for that or Maltian? There's a good man across the valley. I think he's going to go for that first. It's inside. Puts a lovely round in. 389 hit points. I think he's going to stay with the Ferdinand. Oh, he's dropping below the dune now. He knows he's in sight, so, yep, he's going to have to stay below that dune level. Because if he pops up, and he is about to pop up, I think he gets to the end of that dune. He has to come over that ridge line at the top just to move forward. Okay, Sly's given up on him. He's now going to go after the Yoho. Or can he get the Yoho? Well, I don't think he can from here because Yoho's down the dip. So he's gone back to having a look at the uh, where the Maltian is. Maltian just took a big hit. Is he going to go round and come shoot down onto the uh, Maltian? No, he's decided to go forward. There's the Ferdinand again. Now, maybe the Ferdinand forgot that there's a straight one over here. Oh no, he didn't aim that long enough and the shell went into the sand. Went short. Can't get a shot at the T28 Prox, even though he's up near the ridge line. Ferdinand is now staying below the ridge line, but I don't think he realised he can fire that. I don't think he had a clue that he'd been fired at, but I think he is aware that he's got to be careful. And he's presenting a very, very narrow target. In this range, that is a fair distance away, um, the dispersion is going to have an effect upon the shell and RNG as well. So he's firing a very narrow target, very, very narrow. Oh, that's a bit better, but no, he fired too soon. Should have waited for until it was fully visible like this, and no, he's lost the opportunity. See, if he, if he waited, he could have actually fired directly into that fat side of the Ferdinand. You can see the holes he previously made. There's the Oho. Okay, now he can hit the Oho. He's in a position where he can be struck. There he is. And lovely shot. 386. That's 3,700, uh, well, nearly 3,800 hit points of damage. It's gone behind the houses. You can shoot through those houses, but the, it's a waste of shells, really, to be honest. It's a long distance away. Like the third man's been joined by the Borsig. Okay, so we've got two targets for the price of one now. It's going to have a sea flow. There's an Optic 704 nearby. The Maltian's also nearby as well, but we're proxy spotting him, I think. Uh, or we would, would be if we were close enough to the valley edge. Right, he's got a better angle. He can get the Borsig. He does! 390 hit points. Forces the Borsig to pull back. But that's another TD who's going to know that there's somebody shooting at him from an angle. Very narrow angle there. He didn't dial in fully. And okay, we know where the mark action is now. And he's in the river bed. Uh, but he's, he's been taken out of the game. Okay, so everybody's now focusing on the Borsig. Oh, he's gone. So the last one is the Oho. And he's a long way off. So Slide's going to have to motor to get to him. Now, funnily enough, at the moment, Sly is the closest, but I think that 704 is going to race him to the Yoho. It's going to be, a, you know, who gets there first is going to get the kill. Now, there's the 704. Oh, he's leaving the 704 behind. He is faster. But he's just got to get into a position where he can shoot the Oho without getting shot himself in return by that big dirt gun. There's the Oho. Okay, siege mode and... Oh, ho, 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 ho. And he gets the high caliber as he wins the game. Wow. <laughs> that was a good battle. And a win eight of 6630, is it? Yes. Well, I'm not sure, actually. My eyesight is failing me gradually. 
Six six nine eight. Okay, let's have a look at the end of battle stats and see how we got on. Oh, it's an ace tanker for Sly Meerkat in the Stridsvan S1. He also picked up a spotter badge for getting uh, at least a thousand pound, a thousand hit points of spotting damage. Uh, a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got ten, and a fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points of his own vehicle. But best of all, he picked up the high caliber. He dealt the most damage in the battle, uh, at least twenty percent of the enemy hit points, and some over a thousand hit points in total. It was a lot more than a thousand hit points. Yes, it was 4,901 hit points of damage. Well, that's way more than his uh, highest, nearest teammate, which is a T28 prototype. He also managed to get the highest number of kills on his team, three. Uh, highest number of kills on the enemy team was the T49 uh, with two kills, and he took that T49 out. He also picked up 1,354 experience points and that was uh, as a base experience points that is uh, an ace winning uh, total so extremely good that's nearly well it's nearly three times the score of the uh, high score on the enemy team which is that t95 who made the fatal error of turning and presenting his posterior to uh, sly and then sly just took advantage of it and if we have a look at the detail report, well, he fired 19 rounds, got 14 direct hits, 13 penetrations. One round obviously didn't go through. And I suspect that was the one on T95, which actually did hit him, but only tracked him. Uh, first round, I think it was. Uh, he did damage your 4,901 hit points, of which 2,590 were at more than 300 meters. He did receive one hit, and it was a penetration. That was from the Object 430. He hit and damaged eight of the enemy, killed three of them, and did damage assistance of 1,365 hit points. On a premium account, he earned a massive 147,038 credits. That's why the Stridsvan S1 is such a popular TD to play, because it can earn insane amounts of credits for you uh, for a small amount of effort. And in fact, T Sly put in a massive amount of effort in this game, and that's why his total is so high. He also, after repair, ammunition resupply, and consumables, took away 119,676 credits. And I know this is repeatable, because my very first game with the Stridsvan S1, I also came up with similar figures. Um, I've tried very difficult, uh, very hard since to repeat that, because... Uh, it is um, a very difficult uh, TD to get used to, um, and it can also be vulnerable if you go into the wrong situation. But Sly was actually clever enough to pull away from the northeast corner uh, to go to a much better position using the dunes. And that, that's why he actually managed to survive for so long and get, rack up such a high amount of uh, credits from a lot of damage. He earned 2,031 uh, XP, and it was times three for the first victory of the day, and he also picked up 203 XP because this is a premium vehicle. And that gave him a total of 6,296 XP altogether. And that's certainly going to boost his crew's performance and their training. So, um, if you enjoyed this replay, uh, and it was certainly a very good replay indeed, uh, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it will be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.